Who was Barbara Hepworth? Jocelyn Barbara Hepworth was born on January 10, 1903, in Wakefield, West Yorkshire. She is the eldest child of Gertrude and Herbert Hepworth. Her father was a civil engineer for the West Riding County Council. Hepworth attended Wakefield Girls High School, where she was awarded music prizes at the age of 12 and won a scholarship to study at the Leeds School of Art from 1920. Hepworth successfully won a county scholarship to attend the Royal College of Art, RCA, in London, and studied there from 1921 until she was awarded the Diploma of the Royal College of Art in 1924. Following her studies at the RCA, Hepworth traveled to Florence, Italy, in 1924 on a West Riding Travel Scholarship. Hepworth was also the runner-up for the Prix de Rome, which the sculptor John Skeeping won. After traveling with him to Siena and Rome, Hepworth married Skeeping on May 13, 1925 in Florence in Italy. Hepworth learned how to carve marble from sculptor Giovanni Ardenai. Hepworth and Skeeping returned to London in 1926, where they exhibited their works together from their flat. Their son Paul was born in London in 1929. In 1931, Hepworth met and fell in love with abstract painter Ben Nicholson, however, both were still married at the time. At Hepworth's request, she and Skeeping were divorced that year. Her early work was highly interested in abstraction and art movements on the continent. In 1931, Hepworth was the first to sculpt the pierced figures that are characteristic of both her own work and, later, that of Henry Moore. They would lead in the path to modernism in sculpture. In 1933, Hepworth traveled with Nicholson to France, where they visited the studios of Jean Arp, Pablo Picasso, and Constantin Brancusi. Hepworth later became involved with the Paris-based art movement, Abstraction Creation. In 1933, Hepworth CO founded the Unit 1 art movement with Nicholson and Paul Nash, the critic Herbert Reed, and the architect Wells Coates. The movement sought to unite surrealism and abstraction in British art. Hepworth also helped raise awareness of continental artists amongst the British public. In 1937, she designed the layout for Circle, an international survey of constructivist art, a 300-page book that surveyed constructivist artists and that was published in London and edited by Nicholson, Nam Gaba, and Leslie Martin. In 1934 Hepworth, with Nicholson, gave birth to triplets, Rachel, Sarah, and Simon. Hepworth, atypically, found a way to both take care of her children and continue producing her art. A woman artist, she argued, is not deprived by cooking and having children, nor by nursing children with measles, even in triplicate, one is in fact nourished by this rich life, provided one always does some work each day, even a single half hour, so that the images grow in one's mind. Her earlier work featured naturalistic, classic elements, but over time evolved towards the production of more abstract shapes. Hepworth and Nicholson's travels and work saw them go on to become key figures in an international network of abstract artists, with the former developing into a leading practitioner of the avant-garde method of direct carving, a technique which sees artists work directly into their chosen material and avoid the more traditional method of creating preparatory models and maquettes first. In 1939, at the outbreak of the Second World War, Hepworth and Nicholson moved to St. Ives, in Cornwall. Hepworth created her studio in the seaside town and would live in the area for the remainder of her life with her and Nicholson becoming something of a hub for a generation of younger emerging British artists in the post-war years. Overall, Hepworth created hundreds of sculptures during a career that spanned five decades. Among her many achievements, 
Hepworth was awarded the first prize at the 1959 Sao Paulo Biennale in Brazil, and for her invaluable contribution to British art was named Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1965. Sadly, on May 20, 1975, Hepworth passed away. When an accidental fire broke out at her Truen studio. Today, the Barbara Hepworth Museum and Sculpture Garden created in her honor continues to draw fans and aspiring artists to St. Ives. Though concerned with form and abstraction, Hepworth's art was primarily about relationships. Not merely between two forms presented side by side, but between the human figure. And the landscape, color, and texture, and most importantly between people at an individual and social level.